Dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Please listen to the following message very seriously. We are about to approach the Christian festival of All Hallows Eve or Hello Even or Halloween. If we can't educate or convince our friends and neighbors, at least we will have to educate our children and prevent them participating in this type of festivals. No matter how you approach this, some of us take this as fun. So many whys and what's. My child is small. It's fun going to houses and collecting candies with his, his or her friends. It's hard to explain to them. So let them enjoy now. Later when they grew up, we can explain that uh, at that time. Brothers and sisters, if you can't explain now, how are you going to explain when they grew up? It's, it's very hard to change something they practice when they were small. Also, we don't know whether we're going to exist, uh, we, we will be alive at that time to explain to them. Not only that, we never know if Allah twists their mind to deviate completely when they grew up because as, as a parent, we didn't do our part in, when they were small. We didn't explain to them, we didn't tell them this is not supposed to be so no shocking when our children become big and, and when they become drug addict or alcoholic and other behaviors because of our negligence when they were small we didn't prevent them even a small or big mistakes whether our children are in Islamic school or public school prevent them going and participating in this type of festivals in public schools you have an option to opt out even your child is not participating, uh, but there are other children participating. At least, you know, going to door to door and collecting candies, they are doing it. So explain to them what it is and why it is wrong. My son is, is in Islamic school. I heard from him last year that several of his friends, his classmates, they participated in the Halloween. They went to the houses and collected candies. Teachers in Islamic school, I humbly request, if you are listening this, please explain to you, the children in your classroom, tell them the story behind and prevent them. As a teacher, you have the better chance to prevent them going for candies. Allah will question every single one of us on our duties and responsibilities. There are several resources to know about Halloween on the net. As you are listening this, let me give you a summary of the history of Halloween. Halloween had its beginning in an ancient pre-Christian Celtic festival of the dead. The Celtic people who were once found all over Europe. The festival observed at this time was called Samhain. It was the biggest and the most significant holiday of the Celtic year. The Celts believed that at the time of Samhain, more so than any other time of the year, the ghosts of the dead were able to mingle with the living. Because at, at Samhain, the souls of those who had died during the year travel into the other world. The people gathered to sacrifice animals, fruits and vegetables. They also lit bonfires in honor of the dead to aid them on their journey and to keep them away from the living. On that day, all manners of, of being were abroad. A ghost, fairies and demons, all part of the dark and dread. Same hain become the Halloween today. All celebrations become cancerous spreading more and more every year and it become a global celebration especially the the one children's involved in it it's easy to spread any celebration just add some flavor for children then it become it will be taken year over year there are more than 20 countries now in the list of uh, the countries celebrating halloween 15 of them started recently japan australia and those started recently if you you know if you come to our neighborhood you can see the graveyards and ghosts and houses and skeletons and you name it just not just a few is a lot you can see around anyway 
please check on YouTube. There are many clips. I even uploaded one last year uh, with more details. Please um, watch them and educate educate our children educate the neighborhood educate the family and friends jazakumullah khair for listening please please spread the awareness uh, that is the best way we can do uh, inshallah may allah help our deen to stay untouched by all the fitna ameen jazakumullah khair assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh